In this video, I'm going to talk about the graph database with Neo4g and how to use it via C Sharp. But let's talk about graph database first. Graph database is a database designed to treat relationships between data as equally important to data itself. And Neo4g is the most popular graph database interface around the internet, and we can access it freely. Neo4g is open source, NoSQL, a native graph database that provides a CID, compliant transactional backend, for your applications. Neo4g is a native graph database, which makes it efficient, constant time operation, and allows you to quickly traverse millions of connections per second per core. Be and because of its structure, it also can hold a many number of attributes in its nodes. Neo4g has a user interface which makes it easier to manage the graph de database. In this video, I'm going to use Neo4g desktop application and I suggest you to do the same unless you have any other choice. And I'm going to leave the link for the application in the video description. It's our project by uh, creating a new application in .NET Core. The same as Neo4g graph tutorial and create. In our solution explorer, let's right click on our project, say manage NuGet packages, and in, under browse, let's search for new for, for G driver. This NuGet package is provided by and um, still contributed by the official that uh, Neo4g let's accept this get package and let's turn to our program CS. I'm going to follow the official documentation provided by Neo4g documents. So let's start by creating our class. Let's say hello world example, which is going to be implemented from the iDisposable interface. And we are going to create a variable which is going to be i driver driver and we are going to dispose it with dispose method the driver that dispose no, no. let's create our constructor we are going to need a your your re variable to connect our database we are going to need a username and of course a password for that username. We instantiate our driver variable by um, graph database driver method and it's going to take a URI and for the second part we are going to use otokens.basic and it's going to require credentials and we are going to pass our username and password. Now this should be enough to uh, enter and secure our connection to our database. Now let's say public void print greeting string message. In this method we are going to create an uh, return uh, variable from and to the database. So start by using var session equals driver dot session. It's going to return us a session variable, and we are going, of course, going to use that session write transaction, and it's going. Uh, it wants to delegate. And we are going to give it to that more result tx dot run. It's going to run our cipher language query. So let's start typing it. Let's say create a greeting node, a node which is which has a label of greeting. Set our nodes message to message variable 
which is going to be supplemented in the next parameter return a dot message plus from node and we paste the node ID and then uh, it's going to ask for a parameter so we pass on the parameter as an uh, anonymous object message and this method still requires some return statement so we say return result single which is coming from the link so we add the using statement for it okay. the first element as string so greeting variable now holds the value uh, returned by the data database and you can say console write line greeting oh, we're back let's go back to the main method let's create a variable and delete this new hello world example we pass on our Yuri username and password now if we come back to our Neoforge browser we can see uh, user credentials here and sorry user list I manually added a new user named Scribo and passwords you can create a new user by clicking add new user here we go to do Neoforge desktop it has our database if you click manage we can see the used ports by our database so I'm going to use the bold port for this example uh, I copied it let's come back to our project in the URI part I paste this as username I use a scribble and as our password I use neo for J this should give us a good nice connection now if I run this method I say hello world cheesy message let's run this project as you can see it says hello world from node 58 and from node means of course this is our node id and this is the node value as you can see here uh, let's open up our browser and bring all the nodes you can see hello world i of course run it twice so that's why there are two nodes in my application Want to show you a different approach to connecting and doing operations on Neoforge database. Let's add a new project to our solution. Console application, let's name this Neo4G clients driver. Okay, now uh, let's go to our project, right click, manage nuked packages. Under the browse, let's search for Neo 4G. As you can see, it, at here top, we see Neo 4G client. Let's install this into our project. Let's accept it and return to our program CS. And I'm going to follow a little bit of the official documentation provided by Neo 4G client driver developers and a little bit of myself so let's create a class named book and let's say it has two properties string title and page 
count just like this and I'm also going to create another class named person let's just give it a good old name under the programs yes and we are going to first let's connect to our client I mean the database shall we or client equals new graph client and remember to add the using statement new URI for a difference I'm going to use the local host not the bolt address so HTTP say db slash data and username and password of course repo u4j and say client dot connect it's going to connect to our da database with the given credentials now let's create a mm, simple query for creating a book and a person and a relationship between them. It is by var create query equals client dot cipher. After we write down the cipher met property, we can now create a fluent in fluent writing like in link, but for you know cipher language query. We say create and this this part still we have to write the query in string text so let's say j book i labeled it j note as the book let's give it a title and test should be good enough and the page count in terms of 50. let's Connect this with relationship to a person. So let's say uh, relation has book and who has book? A person, which has a name, of course. I think it's John Doe. After that, we are we want to create notes, shall we? Let's return the created notes. We do this by return method and we create J and M. Be careful about the naming this. Uh, these two variables has to be the same name as the notes we created and the previous create statement. So we say let's do this. And I we are going to return an anonymous variable not anonymous variable so anonymous the typed variable there is a difference I have to return a book and I say j as book should be good enough I want it to look a little bit prettier so we got to turn on a person say m as person and after that we want we need to execute the query to work and so say results now this create query variable is it is um, you know anonymous type thing so for using this we can use for each statement because the return query might have returned more than once and documentation says it's porting enumerables so I say create query here and console write line item dot book dot title maybe I don't know uh, it depends on what you want if we run this it's going to create a book a person and the relationship between them and right on the console the title of the book we can test this right now
sorry about that. I forgot to change the project startup project. So oops. Okay. I made it. I might have done done a typo here. So don't blame me. And let's run this again. As you can see, it says test here. Now let's close this. Let's open our browser. I mean, NeoForge browser. And you, as you can see, here are created nodes with a relationship between them. And for the last, I want to show you how to create a var condition for this. Neo Forge driver. Say var query equals client at cipher. Now we start writing our cipher query. Say match. And of course comes the unavoidable string queries. Has book. The same this as you know book big b key for shorts and work our work condition say book bk remember not name has to be same uh, name as the variable we name here so bk for both of them where bk dot page count bigger than 250 or 249 little bit edge cases here and we are going to return our book which was the name we cast our note into the book and let's turn the results let's put a breakpoint here Let's 